I we'll use a wheelbarrow there, guys, because I was close to a pile where, where we put the debris, but I would usually use um, dumpy bags for that, or what we call sometimes builder bags. But with leads, guys, I like to keep a good frequency. I don't want to leave all the, wait till all the leaves have fallen down all through the autumn and winter and then clear them up. Especially on a driveway, they, they will just turn to mud and mush, so keep your frequency good. Um, now it's gone a bit wetter. Um, definitely see more leaves come down now a bit later than normal because it's been so warm now this other bit of driveway i'm not sure what i'm going to do with this at the moment um i like to keep the entrance looking clean but you've got to find that balance really um between the other tasks you need to do in a day and um you know what's most important even though there's a lot of leaves on this driveway now they've only just begun um it will take me and Margaret a couple of hours to sort this drive out. So I'm thinking at the moment, I've got other tasks to do today. Um, I think I'm going to do them instead. But when we come back in around about 10 days, we will do this drive. So it's just finding that balance. Hi guys, hope you're well. I'm Cole from Dagtail. Welcome to the channel, especially if you're new. And of course, welcome to all the other subscribers too. <laughs> uh, can't forget all them, can we? Um, just a little chat really about maybe some of you guys who are just still um, early in your business and you're using pedestrian mowers still and you're thinking a little bit about buying a ride on mower. Now what I would firstly suggest is that you think about doubling up on all your other tools before you invest in a ride on mower, unless you've got lots of money. But if you're like me when I started guys, you haven't got lots of money. Um, and the reason I say that is because if you only have one pedestrian mower, and then you make a big investment on your ride on mower, if anything happens to your pedestrian mower and it needs replacing or you're gonna have lots of costly repairs, you might leave things a little bit too tight for yourself. So I definitely recommend you double up on all your other equipment, your, your strimmer, your blower, uh, hedge trimmers and that sort of thing. So anyway, the main reason for this video today is, is to say, be careful about what kind of ride on mower you buy when you first decide to buy a ride on mower, because if you want to do residential work as well, as well as commercial work, you need to think about, do you need to collect the clippings um so when i bought this first mower this is the only ride on mower i've had by the way and i've had it for over 10 years now it's a g i've got to have a look at g it's the gr2120 kubota and the reason i like this mower is because i can collect and i can drop uh, wherever i want so you, you just change you can see on some of my previous videos you can see me using the deflector and you can uh and what you'll see in this video is me using the collector. Now we're on one of our regular jobs today and there's leaves coming down now because it's autumn and it, this mow is really beneficial today because I can just drive along and just suck up all, all the leaves because the leaves aren't too thick at the moment. I'm able to suck everything off like so. 
quite good. Sorry about that guys, a car just drove past. <laughs> it breaks your concentration uh, when you're trying to make a video. Um, so anyway, what I was saying is you, you really need to consider what mower you buy because if you just go out there and buy one that just got a side discharge and, and you can't collect, um, you're going to be sort of walling yourself out for some of the residential jobs. You might get some good opportunities with residential jobs. So if you've got a mower that does both, you're, you're, you're open to that kind of business. Maybe when your business is bigger in the future, you may want to get another mower that just does uh, side discharge or just mulch because you're just going to be doing more commercial work. And that's that might be something I'm going to do in the future. But at the moment, I'm happy with what i got because I can collect and drop whenever I need. It might not be as good as some of the other mowers out, out there, you know, but I would still do bigger jobs than I'm doing today with this mower. It just take me a bit longer, but I haven't got the extra cost of... Um, maintaining a, another mower or going out and buying another mower like i said that time might come in the future but at the moment i'm i'm happy because i can do residential and commercial with this job so just points really guys just to can consider really when you're gonna make a big purchase i think this mower was about i think i got a bit of a deal on this mower when i first bought it i remember going to look at it and then saying to the uh people i was gonna buy it off um i'll come back in the new year and um when I've got the money and I'll come and buy it. And then about a week later, I got an email offering me a big discount if I bought it before Christmas. So this is a layer of leaves here. I've already actually started doing the mowing uh, up here. But um, this is the kind of leaves I'm talking about, guys. Um, it's just nice to drive up and down here and just suck them up with the mower. Just using the mower as a hoover. That's what Michael's doing over there. So I'm gonna come along here in a second and just show you how I suck these leaves up. Now, if there's any big sticks in there, guys, I'd, I'd pull up, I'll pick them up first. The mower can't pick everything up. I'll just show you how I get them in a the bag. It's not a perfect way. I, I don't always get them all in the bag, but what it will do, it will save you a bit of raking up time. There was periods in the summer where I was dropping the grass here and it was good because it was adding some extra nutrients to the to the lawn. But now we've got the leaves to deal with. This is definitely the best policy to be able to just collect them. Just consider this guys before you go out and buy your first mower. Do you need to collect or are you happy just to mulch? 